back to my dry armpit. What's poppin', what's crackin' like it? Hope you guys are good. It's been a minute, I know. It's been like three weeks, maybe a month. I don't know, it's been ages since I last uploaded a video. I look a little bit crazy because I put my eyebrows on and I put concealer and lashes, but then I haven't got anything else on my face. Like I haven't got any foundation, like the rest of my makeup is not there. So it's kind of like, am I wearing makeup or am I not wearing makeup? Which one is it? I don't know. <laughs> anyway. That's not what that's not what this is about. Okay, let's just ignore that. Okay, it is Thursday. Oh, I've like a music producer. You know, I just created this sound. Like, what? <laughs> so, listen to this. Can you hear it's different? Let me just start there. Yeah. <laughs> Tanya is currently editing a video that's going up on her channel. Is it today or tomorrow? One of those days. But it's, a re it's actually going to be so hilarious. Um, you guys will see. But it involves me allowing her to actually drive my car. Guys, when I tell you this child will not finish me, okay? This child will not finish me. Basically, what Natana's just tried is a tip that I saw on Kira. I hope I'm saying the name right. Kira Omanique on YouTube. Um, I watch her videos and she did. Uh, what's that? Kira Omanique. <laughs> on youtube i watched one of her videos and she was giving tips on how to get good sound for your youtube videos and honestly kira is the plug like she is the real mvp for dropping that gem because honestly when i watch her videos and other people's videos and i hear the sound that they're using in their videos i'm thinking how are you guys being able to use this sound without it being copyrighted and she literally spilt the whole tea the whole kettle yeah on how to get sound like good songs and sounds for your youtube videos so i was explaining it to natanya and she's just tried it for the first time on this video that she's uploading and yeah as you can see she's gassed that she's been able to basically use the song that she wants to use without it getting copyrighted and also creating like a new sound kind of thing to the song so yeah it's mad but um shout out to kira i doubt she'll be watching this video but anyway shout out to her for actually spilling the tea and helping other people like i think it's really amazing when i see fellow influencers giving tips on how to you know up their game how to create better content how to you know um just do more with their content if that's what they're interested in doing and just providing those tips and providing just key things that probably not everyone really knows yeah i genuinely appreciate that and especially people that have like the links to the sounds that they're using in the video in their description box so other people can use the music if it's obviously if it's copyright free um like st stuff like that i just appreciate in people in fellow influencers or just anyone that is just willing to share knowledge you know like i think it's a ama it's an amazing quality amazing character quality to be able to just automatically feel like you want to share knowledge with other people so that they can also help themselves and also like that like put people on do you know what i mean like just help other people you know if you have something and you think it might be helpful to other people like not hugging it to yourself and just sharing it so that you know whoever might need that information can benefit as well the same way that you're benefiting and it's not taking anything away from you do you know what i mean like it's actually making you look even better as a person in terms of your character it just comes across like you know you're someone that actually wants to help people like you like helping people like you don't mind helping other people you you know i said all of that just to say kira shout out to you um and i'm definitely going to be using her tips um from that i'll probably put the link to the specific video that i'm talking about that i saw her sharing these tips in the description box so you guys can go and watch it and also subscribe to her channel i'm sure she probably doesn't need me to help her get subscribers or anything like that she's got way more subscribers than me child um but honestly if you watch that video and you find it helpful the same way that i did and you know you're able to learn something from it 
then the least you can do to just say girl thank you for this information is by hitting the subscribe button you know um and just supporting or liking the video sharing it the same way that i'm about to share it with you guys because i found it so helpful and so useful i'm going to share it I've already, i'm already subscribed to her channel anyway but um me too i'm gonna share it for anyone else that might need it you know and that's how we help each other that's how we all just help each other to grow there's room for everybody to win okay there's room for everybody <laughs> so anyway guys today's vlog it's just gonna be like me cooking to be honest um i don't think it's gonna be like a day in the life vlog or a weekly vlog um it's just gonna be me cooking and the only reason why i'm excited to even share this with you guys is because I got um, this cooking book that I've had for years, okay? I've had this cooking book for years. When I say years, I mean years. Like, look at it. It looks like it's been used. Nah, it's not been used. Never been used. I've literally just had it for decoration, to be honest. Um, but today, I'm actually going to cook an actual meal from this cookbook, okay? I want to explore and develop my range of meals that i can prepare so I'm, I'm i'm making the effort to actually learn new recipes new things to cook from this cookbook so today i'm cooking something from there yesterday i went out and bought all the ingredients that i didn't already have at home that was you know in the recipe um, and what i'm cooking i'm gonna show y'all what i'm cooking if I can find the page, I did bookmark it. Is it this one? No. I'm actually excited to cook this. Okay, so this is what I'm cooking. I am making a turkey curry. These are all the ingredients here and the um, recipe, the directions, whatever you want to call it, the method um, of how to cook. It's not this. It's not this picture. This picture is this, I believe. But um, yeah, I'm making a turkey curry. It's so funny though, because like with cookbooks, yeah, I always feel like if I'm gonna cook something, I always have to look at the ingredients because if the ingredients and the steps are too complicated, I immediately switch off. I'm just like, no, I don't have time for that. So I like this one because the ingredients, I feel like are easy to get hold of, first of all. They're all ingredients that I was able to find in the shops or was already in my cupboard. And there's literally three steps to it. So it's not that hard at all. It says preparation is 15 minutes, cooking time is 35 minutes roughly. So yeah, I, I saw this um, recipe and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Also, the fact that it's turkey is great because this week I'm actually on a high protein, low sugar and low fat diet because I'm trying to basically get my abs, you know, back as strong as they used to be. I feel like, my stomach is not as toned as I would like it to be or as I know that it can be from, you know, how I've seen it before. So I'm just trying to like get myself back in shape because I feel like I'm kind of being out of touch a little bit. Slipping, slacking on, you know, just my eating and my working out and all that kind of stuff. So I'm trying to just, you know, not let myself, you know, slip. I don't haven't slipped all the way. I kind of like just... You know, I just, I didn't slip, I just, so I'm just catching myself before I actually go 100% and slip it, you know? So that's what I'm doing. So the turkey, the fact that it's turkey is great, high in protein, and I'm going to be making it with brown rice, but Natan is going to have like just normal like white rice, um, but I'm going to have brown rice because I'm just deciding to do the healthier option with a brown rice. There's nothing wrong with white rice to be honest. But I feel like sometimes I get bloated when I eat rice and bread. So I've been doing, what's it? Um, what's the bread that is not like normal bread? Like vegan bread? Wait, oh, what's, the, what's the bread that doesn't... What is it that does not have inside the bread? There's a... Oh my gosh, gluten free, that's it. <laughs> so I've been having like gluten free bread. Like I've, I've been doing this for months and months. Like it's, it's, not, it's nothing new. Just doing like my little gluten free. I even have like gluten free pasta, like brown rice, um, gluten free spaghetti. Um, 
you guys can see in here so this is my gluten-free spaghetti this is normal spaghetti um i think this is normal pasta uh yeah this is normal pasta and this is my gluten-free pasta this is normal rice this is my brown rice so yeah i've been on my gluten-free ish for a minute now you know what i'm saying yeah that's why i'm gonna be having brown rice and not white rice let me show you all my ingredients okay wait i need to take out the let me take out the turkey so we got the turkey right here you know what i'm saying diced turkey and this i'm not i'm not i'm a bit scared because i have never in my life put yogurt in a hot meal before like i don't understand how this is going to correlate in the recipe but i'm going with it like i have never cooked a sauce or a hot meal with greek yogurt like yogurt this is yogurt and i'm gonna put it in the turkey curry sauce like my brain is it's it's not clicking it's not clicking but i'm gonna trust the recipe <laughs> and just do what it tells me to do and hopefully it comes out okay i would never think to put this in any kind of sauce but yeah that shows the level of my cooking okay <laughs> i'm not a chef out here i just cook what i know to cook and i stick to that okay but that gets boring sometimes so that's why i'm trying to like push myself you know step out my comfort zone elevate my taste buds and just create some beautiful new meals you know everything is here so i'm good to go like let's do this you know what i'm saying let's let, let's get cooking i don't know if i need to invest in like a cookbook thing but you like lean your cookbook against it and it can sometimes stay open or it can be closed but it just kind of sits there and when you open it it just like rests on it but for now this is resting against the wall <laughs> maybe the more that i actually start using my cookbook then i can invest in a cookbook stand but yeah i definitely need something where i can like have this open and i can be following oh this is even falling now yeah i can be following the the recipe and whatnot but for now the wall is gonna have to do you know what i'm saying okay what do i need to do first okay so it's telling me the first thing i need to do is heat the oil in a heavy base pan add the onion and garlic and fry gently until softened and golden Add turmeric, chili powder, cumin and coriander and cook stirring for one minute. Okay, so on the third step, it's telling me to remove any skin from the turkey. My turkey doesn't have any skin, so um, and cut into chunks. But I don't really need to do that because I already bought turkey chunks. And because this is raw, I think I'm going to just cook this first like fry it in a in a pan so it's cooked and then i'll go into the first step which i think is obviously making the sauce mm -hmm. i think this should be a big enough pot guys i'm using olive oil i've been using olive oil for a minute now wait i turned on the wrong no that's the wrong one it's this one i need actually this is not gonna be enough oil i'm gonna just gonna pour oil in there i ain't got time to be spraying 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 for five hours so i'm just gonna get you know normal bottled vegetable oil I don't know if I should season this turkey before I brown it. Like my instinct is to season it first, but then there's other seasonings. I might season it a little bit. So I don't want to just throw it in there, just plain and dry like that. Spray some oil on it. Throw a little bit of seasoning, maybe just some all purpose seasoning on it there. Just give it a 
a little bit of je ne sais quoi. Okay, this is my seasoning drawer. If any of you guys have seen any of my um, cooking related videos in my old house and the seasoning cupboard in my old house was literally crazy. So we thank the Lord that I, you know, <laughs> I have a nice massive drawer now for my seasoning and everything looks, you know, normal. You know, everything looks sane and not crazy. So, yes. Love that for me. What I'm looking for is in here though. This has got to be the worst onion cutting or chopping ever. Like, what is this? Like, how big the chunks are? I don't know, man. I am actually so lazy when it comes to chopping onions, or I'm just really bad at it. But this is the best I can do when it comes to chopping onions. And then my garlic is here in the corner, very badly chopped. My cutting skills is not A1. It's not even a C. It might even be a Z at this point but we got our onions and we got our garlic clove okay period <laughs> two garlic cloves oh my gosh i only cut one okay i need to get a second garlic clove heat up oil it's saying that i should use two tablespoons of oil but i'm going to spray my good old olive oil into my pot i got my pot here basically cooking the onion and the garlic cloves and the turmeric chili powder cumin and coriander all together for one minute and then i'm gonna add my chopped tomatoes add some salt and let that cook for 20 minutes absolutely amazing like oh my gosh i wish you guys could smell the smells that are coming from this Let's add some more oil because i don't feel, i feel like two tablespoons of oil wouldn't have been enough or is it just me while that's bubbling away I'm just checking the last and final step i love that there's only three steps but honestly my eyebrows are really bold right now <laughs> wow guys my eyebrows are giving auntie you know when the auntie just draw the eyebrow like with a black pencil a black pencil and they just draw it after they shaved their eyebrows off the original eyebrow is shaved off and then they will now draw a thick jet black eyebrow on top of it that's what i'm giving right now but it's okay <laughs> anyways because i don't have any eyebrows like you guys that have thick eyebrows and you just pencil in your eyebrows a little bit to just make them look a little bit more voluminous and it doesn't look like you've drawn it on because you actually have eyebrows how does it feel to be god's favorite hmm let me know how does it feel hmm? for those of us that have no eyebrows and us putting our eyebrows on is literally putting our eyebrows on we literally have to draw our eyebrows on because we don't have any there's no hair there no i'm basically almost done um so all i need to do now as that's bubbling i think it's pretty much cooked now um is basically add the turkey chunks to the sauce 
add the garam masala which is one of the ingredients one of the seasonings garam masala and let that cook for another 10 minutes oh i need to also add the yogurt that's how you know that adding yogurt to something like this is very new to me i even forgot that i was supposed to add this but yeah i need to add this yogurt in there as well wait was i supposed to add the yogurt earlier why is it saying hold on remove any skins that are there add the add to the pan the garam masala and four tablespoons of yogurt okay and then cover and cook for 10 minutes then stir in the remaining yogurt okay so how much yogurt altogether do i actually need where is it 150 mils so this yogurt is 500 grams okay so i'm gonna pour this into a measuring jug so i can get 150 mils which is a quarter of a pint i have no idea what that means but 150 milliliters um in my measuring jug i can understand so i'm gonna pour this into there so i can make sure i've got the right measurements um but i think i'll just have a look as well and just use my eyes to see if it's too much or if it's enough you know um as i'm doing it but um oh my god i think this is overcooking my goodness is it burning wow oh my god okay it's not too bad i think i caught it just in time but it's definitely like overdone that like some of the sauce has dried up my goodness i think the heat is too high let me just bring this down a bit it smells amazing wait i need to clean I need to clean. Right, let's measure out this yogurt. Where's my measuring jug, honey? Here we go. Right, I've got my measuring jug here. Oh, it's got pints on it. Okay, perfect. Okay, my measuring jug also has pints on it, so that's very helpful. So one quarter, one quarter of a pint. So I can't remember fractions from school, but that is quarter, one quarter, right? Yeah, it's one quarter. Why does it look like it doesn't mean that? I can't remember what one quarter looks like. Whatever that is, that's what I need. This is thick. Just opened up the garam masala i've never used this before in my life but it smells beautiful like all the spices that i've used smell absolutely amazing like so good especially together oh guys i wish you could smell what i'm smelling for the screen but just know it smells amazing okay I don't know how loud it is, and I'll check when I'm editing it, but I feel like it's so loud. You hear that silence? You hear that silence, Natalia? Yes. <laughs> right, let me add the rest. I'm going to add the rest of this yogurt now. I had no idea that yogurt had this, this quality, well, natural Greek yogurt. I didn't know. I thought you just had, like, just ate yogurt by itself. I didn't know that it was something that could be used for something like this. And I'm actually so amazed at how, you know, it, this has turned out. Like, it's made a sauce from yogurt, which I never would have done in my entire life. I've never done before. Never seen it before. Never done it before. Didn't know it. Didn't see it. Didn't. didn't. Like, I'm amazed. Like, yogurt is so versatile. Who knew? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Who would have thought that basic Greek yogurt had all of these skills, like this flexibility, you know? It reminds me of, of the natural black hair. Like, it's just so diverse and it can just do so many different things. It can look so many different ways. It has so many different flavors. And it's just so talented. Wow, like something so basic has so much talent. 
And I love that for yogurt. I love that for yogurts. Shout out to all the Greek yogurts out there. You, you, you rock. Okay? You rock. After adding the last bit of yogurt, it says serve with rice. So I'm just like, do I not need to bring this to boil again after adding the extra yogurt? I'm probably going to do that because I need to make sure that this yogurt is cooked in properly. I'm just going to probably let it boil for another five, six minutes. And then, oh my gosh, I should have put my rice on from how long ago? Where's the multitasking skills, mum? Girl, let's cook the rice. At least this is cooked and it's done, period. You know what I'm saying? Finished product. It looks so good. I'll be honest with you, I just look like <laughs> stew. <laughs> yeah, it does look a little bit like stew, but thicker. I've never cooked anything like this before, so. Well, I've cooked curry, but not like this. So we're gonna taste it. Cause all now, the whole process of me cooking this, I have not tasted anything at all whatsoever. Grab a little bit here. Should I feed you? No, let me do it. <laughs> let me know, let me know. Yeah. Is it nice? Yeah. This it is tastes, not very convincing. It tastes like how it smells. Like I would expect it to taste like this by the smell. Yeah, but the smell is nice. Yeah, it tastes like curry, but different. It's like More flavors yeah. in the curry. Yeah, it's nice. Tasty. I'm excited. Do you want me to eat a turkey? Yes. Yeah. No, don't yeah. eat a turkey. You're gonna eat the turkey with the rice. Stop, yeah. Natalia! Mom! Stop! Stop! No, Natalia! Yeah. You're gonna drop it! Put you're the turkey! Put the turkey back! Put the turkey back in the pot! Put it back in the Natalia! No! Why? Why are you stealing meat from the pot, Natalia? Oh, is it nice? Yeah. Girl. All right, I'm gonna taste it now. Girl, I just told her to taste the sauce. She's eating all the turkey in a pot. Okay. Mmm! This is nice! What? Yeah, no, this slaps. I feel like I could add a little bit more salt. Salt? No? No. Okay. I might have did something, okay? Well, the recipe did something, okay? Yes, honey. This is a win. This is a good one, okay? What time is it? Okay, it's 10 to 9. So, Love Island is about to start in about 10 minutes. So, I wish I'd put the rice on sooner because then literally I would have been done, cooked, ready to sit down with my meal, watch Love Island and just vibe, you know? Are you guys watching Love Island? Like, how are you guys feeling about the first three episodes. I think today is the fourth episode. Um, my initial um, feelings about the show or my initial reaction is that Kaz has got beautiful skin. Her body is banging. I'm really shocked that Shannon got kicked out. Like she's also very beautiful. I feel like she should have been the bombshell that entered the villa. But she got kicked out after two days. Like, imagine two days. They've never never done that before. Like, it's actually mad. Like, she's only she was only in there for two days. And I'm pretty sure that they quarantined for like two weeks. And obviously, they've got to keep this whole thing quiet for months, I, I believe, or maybe at least a month in advance. So all of that to only be in a villa for two weeks. Like, I don't know why they did that, but that was shocking. Um, but other than that, I feel like it's like, <laughs> it's a little bit dry. Compared to other seasons, I just feel like it's a bit dry. I feel like the characters, the people in there, maybe because we need, maybe they need time to kind of come out of their shell and give us more of themselves. Um, so I'm not gonna, you know, judge them too quickly. I'm gonna just, you know, keep watching. And you know, with Love Island, usually like in the beginning, it can be a little bit meh, and then obviously the drama and the chaos begins. So yeah, um, that's my thoughts on it so far. But even with all of those of us that are even complaining that is boring, we're still gonna watch it. 9 p.m. We're still gonna be there watching. So yeah, but obviously, Black Twitter makes love island watching love island like a hundred times better do you know what i mean like i don't know if love island would be as good as it is if it wasn't for black twitter so 
Yeah. And then there was like the whole discussion about, you know, black women yet again being portrayed as undesirable because they don't get picked um, and they don't tend to put guys in there that are actually attracted to black women for them to be picked and that's on both sides whether you're whether the guy are, is black or not black like just men that are attracted to black women like would be great um and i feel like that's the difference between love island and too hot to handle because i feel like too hot to handle the casting is so good that they like black women are seen as desirable on that show more than you know love island um so i don't know i feel like whoever does the casting for too, too, too Hot to Handle needs to also do the casting for Love Island because this has happened too many times where the black girl is not picked at the beginning um, so yeah that's, that, that's a bit annoying and it's kind of annoying but yeah anyways <laughs>